Hi, I'm Amber Valletta, and I'm going to take you through a little skincare preparation routine I do, and then I'm gonna show you my natural beauty makeup look. I'm gonna use these patchness eye patches. That looks really cute. It goes with my earrings. Today I'm gonna use this. This is my favorite, favorite mask at the moment, and it's called Revival Mask. And you would put this on for like 20 minutes or longer. So I'm gonna do that now. It's quartz. You just want to put it all over. It just gives like an amazing finish to the skin when you take it off. Like your skin looks super fresh and hydrated and all the fine lines are kind of ironed out. I also like to put it on my neck because as you get older, the neck needs support. All right, these guys are coming off. All right, so I'm a little rosy now from wiping and cleaning off the mask. All right, now, first a little eye cream. And this is called Bright Eyes. I think I might have put too much on. Now I'm gonna use this cream. It's Augustinus Batter, or Augustine Batter. Amazing cream. And then I'm gonna mix it with my sunscreen. I live in LA and I have to wear sunscreen every day, even if it's cloudy. <laughs> I swear this does rub in. Wipe in anything extra into the hands so your hands are protected. I'm an eyebrow freak, so before I can even start my makeup, I'm gonna have to brush my eyebrows because they look crazy right now. And any makeup artist who knows me knows the way to make me happy is just to come and check my eyebrows. <laughs> Okay, my eyebrows look a little intense right now because I, I bleached them blonde um, a couple weeks ago for a shoot. And by the time I, like this week, they looked like kind of tiger print. They were all like blonde and brown and, and my eyebrows are really dark. They're like the color of my eyelashes. I thought that maybe I should dye them so that I didn't look crazy shooting this. And, um, yeah, I use Just For Men beard color, and I kind of look like Groucho Marx, so bear with me. Best thing for beauty is water. So I have to hydrate because this is a lot of work. <laughs> I like this clay de peau. I have no idea what color it is right now because I think I've pretty much wiped the sticker off. I get a little discoloration sometimes, especially when it's sunny. And today I'm a little pink, so I'm trying to tone down all the pinkness. I remember my grandmother used to sell Mary Kay when I was growing up. She was always really into beauty and taking good care of herself and her skin. And I kind of learned <clears throat> early on that, um, you know, you take care of what you, what you have. And I learned that kind of about everything. So whether that's your health and your beauty, or your home, your environment, your community. That's kind of the basis of my value system. I'm gonna use a little tiny bit of this MAC face and body, tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Because normally I, I really wouldn't during the day, but at night I would. I like to use my hands a lot, my fingers, when I'm putting on makeup, just because I feel like I have more control and I don't know, it just, it feels more natural to me. I think it's like stimulating for the skin and your blood, but also kind of warming up the makeup and really kind of getting it in there. This is a major product. I think a lot of people love this product. This is just kind of the last thing I would hit on the skin. You can also take it around to places that maybe look a little red. Believe it or not, I can actually um, curl my eyelashes without a mirror um, because you know you know where your eyes are and you know what hurts. I'm gonna use a little bit of my new product called Eye Light. It's with Douglas Beauty and I did six essential products to bring out the most beautiful version of yourself. It's so pretty, I love this stuff. You can like layer as much as you want. 
Like I wouldn't put something like this on my eyes before, but now that I came out with this, it's just so pretty and it doesn't really look like a bunch of makeup. It just looks like your eyes are kind of glowy. Let me put a little on the bottom as well. I saw makeup artists do this a lot, take off the mascara, um, and it just made sense to me because sometimes I'd put on my mascara and then I would be, I would feel like, oh my God, I have way too much on and it's all like clumpy and not in a good way clumpy. I think it's time to do some eyebrows. When I first started in the 90s, it was all about super thin eyebrows. And I'm so sad because I have these big, beautiful caterpillar eyebrows, but they're pretty good considering that they've been tweezed and bleached and pretty much taken off. Charlotte Tilbury makes this really good clear brow gel with this teeny, teeny, tiny brush, which is kind of great because you can really get in there and have control. And like I said, anyone who knows me knows I am sort of a freak about eyebrows. Let's do some blush. My favorite product right now, I think that is from my line, is called Snapshot. And I also like it on my lips. I kind of like that like very nudie sort of pink. And then I'd also love this stick to put a little like up here to like dress it up even more. Highlighter. I've learned a lot about highlighter from I think the best people. I remember when there wasn't highlighter and like Pat McGrath was making highlighter with like, she was just making it herself and it was incredible. That was 20 years ago. A little on the nose. I'm sure everybody has seen this, but the bow of the lip is really nice. So this is called Done Undone Lip Pencil by Pat McGrath. I'm just gonna line. Lip liner in the 90s was like almost a way to like make your lips look bigger. I mean, I guess it is still now, but today people have filler and whatever filler I guess they put in it. But back then we just used a pencil and you know, you just kind of line slightly lower than your own lip. Okay, I think it's time for some powder. All right, I broke this out of excitement, the powder, but I'm still gonna use it because it's good. It's translucent and it is called Instablur. I love all the pink rosy packaging. I like a little shine. I want the skin to look alive and vibrant, but I don't wanna be super, especially like in photos, I don't wanna be super shiny up here or like underneath my eyes. So I'm just gonna like hit it a little bit. I think I should take out my hair, so I don't know what it's doing because I had to pull it back. Ah. This is bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna do one touch up because this is driving me crazy. I think I'm ready to go out in the world. <laughs> I just wanna say too that I think beauty comes from, yes, it, it comes from the inside, but that comes from like your spiritual, mental, physical health. But also like each one of us has something that is special and unique. And so instead of, you know, maybe hiding it or being ashamed of it, like I could wear bangs all the time because my forehead is abnormally large. I embrace it. And, um, you know, I think trying to embrace all of ourselves is the most important part. I'm super grateful for this time with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and um, I hope I, <laughs> I hope I did a good job. Thank you.